Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. And today I have a Flip Through Friday. Hashtag Flip Through Friday. And this could be an open collab where you could all join in and just put hashtag Flip Through Friday and join me. I purchased a journal from Coffee Paper Scissors with Stephanie and I wanted to show it to you because it is wonderful but before I get to the journal she sent me something extra and I've already opened it and know what it is and I've already cried about it because it was just wonderful so I um, can show it to you without blubbering first of all look at this the way she did this paper crinkled it up and then uh, inked and distressed it is that not cool and then I got you know this awesome twine which I love twine and we open this up and the first thing look at this is this not beautiful she just Stephanie Everything she makes just looks pristine and just perfect to me. And this um, is a little pocket um, that I can tuck something in. Here's a cute little tag. I think I want to put him there. Stephanie Michelle, I'm moving it. And then we have L is for love. I love these papers. She glued them. That's got a tuck put something in. Isn't that awesome? Maybe I want to put that there. Yeah. I don't know. And look at that gorgeous tag. She's got layers and and I love, you know, grungy. Um, her stuff's not grungy, but the browns and the neutral tones are just I'm drawn to that. And look, I love tall tags. The key sticker and some other kind of little sticker there. And look at the little beads. Isn't that awesome? So pretty. And this feels like rubbery clothy or something. But I love it. It's just. And she made it from book pages. So if this isn't like the coolest thing ever I don't know what is I wish that ah ha well then I hide that you know I just can't make up my mind so I think I'm going to take that out and put that there and I'll just get another chat this is just gorgeous <laughs> beautiful beautiful so that's um, one thing then look at this beautiful card it's like an it's a print of an oil painting i'm quite sure and isn't she sweet she washi taped the message in um so i could use the card dear dale thank you so much for your support to my channel and my shop i appreciate you so much i hope you enjoy your little surprise stephanie coffee paper scissors and she already knows that I did because I'm about to flip. Look at that envelope. Beautiful. Here. Oh! Did I lose something? I got a little flower. Stay right there. She showed these little golden books on one of her videos. And I don't remember which one it was, but I just commented that, you know, I was looking for those kinds of books if she were to put them in her Etsy shop, but that um, I was named after Dale Evans. And so I grew up knowing about Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. And as a little child, I would watch their black and white TV shows. Yes, I'm that old. So anyway, she had two golden books, and I've got a couple um, about Dale Evans, but they're not in good shape, and I can't really make anything with them. Book. Roy Rogers at the Lane Ranch. Look at that. 
in its authorized edition. Little Janet had it. I can't read Roman numerals. But it's in the 50s, I think. But look, it's in perfect condition. I opened this, and just before I even opened the book, I saw the books, I just started crying, I think. Well, how sweet of her to give me this. I just, I'm just in awe. And my namesake, Dale Evans. It's a wonderful woman of God and her horse, Buttermilk. And that's who I was named after. Wonderful, wonderful namesake. I never liked my name, but I was glad I was named after someone so wonderful. And look how pretty this book is. This is 1956. They wrote it where I could read it. This is just awesome. I can't wait to make a journal out of it. Or I may not. I may not be able to do it because this is just awesome that there's a little golden book about Dale Evans. I mean, I want to collect them. Anything I can find on Dale Evans, especially, and Roy Rogers, but especially her. So thank you so, so, so much, Stephanie. This is, oh, these aren't little golden books. These are telltale books, which... I don't care if they're little golden books or telltales or whatever kind they are. Thank you so much for gifting this to me. I, I just feel honored and humbled that you would give me these. So thank you so much. I just can't say it enough. Just absolutely blown away. So I put this to the side and show you the journal. She made this beautiful um, fabric flower and I made some fabric flowers and made brooches from them and haven't done that again but mine weren't flat like this and I've done paper flowers that were kind of flat but I want to make like she did. It's got one two, three, four layers. Looks like she did it with a hot glue gun on her little base and sewed the button through. Isn't that adorable? Thank you, Stephanie. I love that flower. So pretty. Get the string off. And this batter twine was wrapped and she had it just so y'all know, it, it was wrapped so much prettier <laughs> when I got it. I never can put things back the way people do. Um, just not in my DNA. So more of this wonderful paper. Ready? Ta-da! And this is upside down. Look. Isn't she beautiful? This light is on my nerves again, guys. I'm sorry. Can you see now? I don't like the glare. So let's try that. Okay. Isn't this beautiful the way she did all these layers on this cover and the little flower? I was just in love. And she did book pages on the front with the metal corners. And this is a vintage photo. I love the photo. Here's the spine. And I love these giant buttons. I have some giant buttons um, and hadn't decided how I wanted to use them but I love the way this looks it's three signatures and this is the back and I love this lace I, I hoard this I get it at Hobby Lobby my favorite 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 lace and then this crocheted lace I love the fabric just gushy so 
pretty. So let's open it. Now see, when you open her journals, they're pretty and flat. When you open my journals, they go, right, they explode everywhere because I can't seem to keep them not so fluffy. I'm going to learn one of these days. This war, I, wow, I did that. So it has the library pocket with, you know, the library card that's been grunged up. It's beautiful. I love the way she did the spine here on the inside. Look at this. She did paper weaving. Isn't that gorgeous? The rick rack and the little brads or, or whatever they are. And this is a pocket. Gorgeous. And this side is a pocket with a card and all my favorite colors. Love all this paper. And I don't remember, um, Stephanie, what paper pack this is, so you'll have to tell me. Because I, I love it. Memories, look at the ruffle. Ah, love the Rick Rick. Look at that, so cute. Today was, and you can check it off, journaling thing, and here's a beauty, I love big tags. That reminds me of a song back in the late 80s. I like big tags and I cannot lie. Well, we won't go there. It wasn't what it was, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> this little pocket, and it's a magnet. That is so cool. Beautiful. Little journaling spot. Everything so neat, tidy. I bet your craft room and your table are neat and tidy too. Mine aren't. I love the black um, eyelash trim and look at the flowers she did and colored in herself. I'm quite sure. Stitching. Isn't that cute? And then this side, looky here, got a big tag. I, l I see lots of Lion Coffee advertisements, and I had a couple of super, super old ones, but they're like falling apart. And I love the way this on there looks like a file folder. Go in there. Memories. Look at that, she double layered that, it's a cute idea. Everything she does is so cute. And love him. He's Mr. GQ of the day. Limited edition. Love it. She fussy cut that out. I mean, I would have chopped that cane off. There's no way how she did that. She's a, Stephanie's one of the best fussy cutters I've ever seen. I'm just fussy. She's a fussy cutter. Because <laughs> I can't cut that good and then um, my little things here in the middle and another double layered tag I love love it I love this paper the paper flower here is so pretty she just layered looks like different kinds of um, punched flowers it's pretty lace that look at all the trims so cute. It's an envelope on this side. And a journaling spot. Love it, love it, love it. It's so cool. Love it. It's like I want to buy everything she makes. It doesn't matter. I just want it. <laughs> but I don't have the money so I can't do that I love this see the girl she looks to me like she should be in a circus and she's got two old stamps it says journey I love the polka dot and just the layers that she does with her journaling cards and tags awesome I love the fat pom pom trim I have some of that 
I don't use it very often, but I love it. Fat, I love this big Rick Rack. And then Pam Van E has like some really big Rick Rack. I need to get find some of that because I don't have any. She's got a paper ruffle here that she zigzag stitched. And then this is a little envelope that she made with the little whatchamadooties. And here's a tag with a it's like a Tim Holtz girl and some cheesecloth. Just amazing layering that you do. <coughs> gray Poupon. I remember that. I don't like Gray Poupon, but a lot of people liked Gray Poupon uh, mustard. I just like good old orange plain mustard. Isn't that pretty? All the journaling cards and stuff are so cute. Then we can close that. Oops. Sorry, my husband's making himself something to eat, and he shouldn't be because he's very sick, and he should let me do it, but he's being hard-headed today. This, look how she did the banners and the big hand pointing. I love it. It's a good idea. All of her ideas are good. I mean, happiness is getting journals from Stephanie noteworthy I love these this paper pack or whatever you use it's just awesome right up my alley girlfriend some more Tim Holtz couple here Let's see if I can um, zoom in just a little bit better And see the detail those little I mean look she's got cheats lace a little bit of muslin some more lace book page and this pretty paper you open that and we have the Eiffel Tower see that's where they went so this is like their little envelope journey and their journey and here's another beautiful tag that she colored the flowers so awesome sorry I know I'm taking a long time but I just love it Some ephemera beautiful papers it's a game. Yahtzee I love to play Yahtzee she embossed just that little edge just little simple details here and there so I love this paper it's like a parchment resume paper or something I love that pretty papers canasta I never learned to play that love the butterfly punch and these her pages are just so pretty and this side is like a, a ledger maybe of some kind of paper but it's pretty and that's just got a hole there I could hang a dingle dangle on that pretty papers there's that she made into a tuck the letter C is for cherish. Cherish people's work and support other people in their artistry. Another like an old order, order form. Little pretty papers. Never seen a guest check like that. It's a big one. Oh, it's a tuck. Isn't that pretty? Where's Stephanie, tell me what this paper pack is. <laughs> I must have it. Papers to write on. Lots of writing space. Although I never write in my journals. I love the little hearts. Little touch. Pretty. Another piece of papers with the little hole reinforcers on. So that's the second signature middle. Look at that pretty butterfly. I don't know, that might be a Tim Holtz butterfly. Look, this is an envelope with journaling card. Another embossed piece there. Another pretty bird that she, oh, she didn't fussy cut that one. It was it's part of that paper. Love it. Pretty, she inks like I do. I ink all the pages. And that's a Fleur de Lis, I think. Beautiful. 
awesome, wonderful, fabulous, cute flower. I just love this paper. I need to know what that is too, Stephanie. I need you to make a list of everything you used, where you bought it, and uh, links, please, so that I can get some. <laughs> Little banners with the paper, uh, book pages, the other side of that ledger sheet. Beautiful papers, butterflies from book pages. Look at this paper. Look at there. She cut puzzle pieces out of um, book pages. It's a great idea. I just have a bunch of puzzle pieces, but I could get a punch like that someday, and that's a lot thinner <laughs> than using a puzzle. Third signature. Butterfly, this wonderful paper, always and forever antiques. Look at here. Isn't that adorable? The little two little hearts on that clothespin. And it holds that down. Or, or maybe not, but this every detail is so look at that. Just look look at that. Is that not adorable? Love it. Just those little touches she does. J is for journey. I want to do journals like Stephanie. They're so pretty. Yeah, I'm going to steal some of your ideas, just saying. And I love this. I've done some of these before, but mine don't look as neat and cute as hers. But I want to do more because I love that look. Isn't that pretty? And then there's my little clothespin. Oh, I bet it held this on. She double layered again, and it's nice and stiff to write on, which I like too. I don't like flimsy tags if they're used for writing. I like them to be substantive. Don't do that. Look at this. Oh, she glued it down. That's a cabinet card. Isn't she pretty? It's from the rich folk. Be amazed. I am amazed at this journal. Oh, the flying machines. Beautiful card. And then look, that flips over. Live simply, love deeply. She put that on top. Let's do this one first. Another, I've got that digital. Isn't that pretty? She did it on like thin chipboard, like a cereal box weight. That's a great idea. Isn't that pretty? I love that stamp. I gotta get better at stamping too. My stamps don't turn out that great. I think about you every waking moment, always, every day, once in a while, and just a little. All of the above. That is so cool. I'm just mm, love it, love it, love it. This is just so pretty. Love that material. This page, got a sticker here and a little wonky stitching and layering. Her layering is pristine and another pretty flower she drew and colored. So cute. And another layered tag on a book page. So adorable. And another tag, the butterflies, book pages, and washi, some lace, so cute. And it's the middle of the third signature, start doing things you love. And there's a paper book page ruffle with a vintage button, just a little cluster, that is cool. Tim Holtz fell, I like him, I've used him before, and I love the way you did it with the bingo and his hand on the bingo thing. Here's a beautiful tag. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. And that is so true. And I see that saying a lot, but this past couple of weeks I've had some hard stuff, but I have been so blessed and had so many moments that took my breath away. 
God, just God is so good the way he has taken care of things, orchestrated things, uh, brought healing to people, brought uh, restoration of marriages and just answering prayers and it's just I've just been blown away and then to see the love and care that goes into the journals that people make um, and I've already showed some on my channel that were gifted to me that I was just blown away by Look at that I love that so pretty for the record I remember not that kind of, I'm not quite that old. Another flower, a paper flower, and a little piece of muslin there. And the, your layering is just off the charts. And it's just beautiful. I love the weaving. She does so much detail. Look, she gave me money. I have two, I have $1,500. Thank you, Stephanie. I can buy a bunch of your journals for $1,500. So I'll send it to you and you send me the next like eight or ten journals that you do. <laughs> Journaling spots on the back of those, they're adorable. I need that much money actually. Hmm. Inspired by life, created by hand. One of a kind art created by Stephanie. Love that. And then this is the back. You get to see all the wrinkles in the paper and she put a finish over it. So this is my journal from Coffee Paper Scissors. I will link her YouTube channel below and her Etsy store below. Please check her out. You will be inspired and uh, find lots of beautiful things to buy and to treasure. And again, the inspiration that you can use. Steal her ideas and make them your own. Uh, um, but that's what we all do. We, we, you know, get ideas from one another. And thank you, Stephanie, for all the goodies you sent me. I'm just humbled. I'm in love with them. And I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much. And everybody have a wonderful Friday. And make it a good one. Know you are loved. And that I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.